Hey guys, welcome back to IC Chris, where it's never too late to have an IC moment. Okay, if you guys are enjoying the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, in this video, we will be going over part three of the May June Maths Paper One series. Uh, so in this que this video, sorry, I'm covering question three of the Maths Paper One um, paper, uh, which deals with sequences and series. So enjoy the video. Okay, let's have a look at question three. So question three is also got to do with sequences and series. So in this question three for this paper, it's focusing on series. Okay, so looking at uh, question 3.1, uh, it says if R equals one over five and A equals to 2000, then for 3.1.1, determine T and the general term of the series. Okay, so the first thing that you should realize as I've given in my hint over here, because we can see R, or R is given and A is given, you should be thinking of geometric. Okay, so geometric uh, general term is given as A times R to the N minus one. Okay, so it is an exponential um, series. Okay, so it's either going to grow to infinity, meaning it diverges, or it's going to decrease to a point, meaning it converges. Now note that R is one over five, and because one over five, absolute value of 1 over 5 is less than 1 it means that 1 over 5 sits between negative 1 and 1 okay therefore this series will converge okay so let's quickly find the general term um, so tn equals to 2000 times 1 over 5 uh, n to the minus 1 okay and that's just going to be our general solution for this series now please note you can't distribute that in and then simplify it so this is wrong by saying this 400 n minus 1 that is wrong why because the n minus 1 links to your ratio and not to the entire a times r okay so this is a no-no okay now let's have a look at 3.1.2 so it's asking us to find t7 so it's asking you to find Tn when n equals to 7. So pretty straightforward. T of 7 is going to be 2000, 1 over 5 to the 7 minus 1, which means we'll have 2000, 1 over 5 to the power of 6. Okay. So if you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get a value of 16 over 1, 2, 5. Okay or if you want it in decimal points, it's 0 0.128. So you can see we started with our first term of 2000 and after seven terms, we're already sitting at 0 0.128. Okay, so this series is doing something like this and it's going to converge. Okay, now let's have a look at 3.1.3. So it says uh, which term of the series will have a value of 16 over 15,625. Okay, so as you can see over here, I've said because they've given us Tn, we need to find what N is. Okay, so we know that Tn equals to 2000, 1 over 5 to the N minus 1. Okay, so we need to find this over here, 15,625 equals to 2000, 1 over 5, N minus 1. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is divide both sides by 2000. If you do that, you're going to get a value on this side of 1 over, let's see, it's quite a large number, 1953125 equals to 1 over 5 all to the power of n minus 1. Okay, now just a quick tip because this ends in 5, it's a factor of 5. Okay, so it will be we can write this as 1 over 5 to the power of something up here. So if you plug that number into your calculator, so 1953125, uh, and you use the factorize function if your calculator has it, you'll see that it will be 1 over 5 to the power of 9 equals 1 over 5 to the power of n minus 1. So because they have the same base, we can drop our base. So 9 equals to n minus 1. Okay, take the 1 over, so n equals to 10. So when n equals to 10, we have this number. And if you put this into a calculator, you're going to see it's a really, really small number. Okay, so just in the span of 10 positions, we've already 
produced a really small number, 0 point something something something, which means that this is definitely converging. Okay. Now, let's have a look at 3.2. It says, consider the geometric um, series where the sum from 1 to infinity of tn equals to 27 and s of 3 equals to 26. Okay. Now, it's a geometric series. Okay, so we're using tn equals a r n minus 1. Okay, we can see that the sum to infinity equals 27, which means this whole thing here will converge. Converge. Okay, and it converges to 27. Therefore, r must be a ratio of some sort. Okay, something or something 1 over something. Okay. Now we want to find R. So if we use these two over here, let's set up this quickly. So we have uh, the sum to infinity. So S to infinity, uh, that for geometric sequence is given as A over 1 minus R. Okay, and we know that that must equal 27. If you want to know how this is derived, I have created a video which you can go and watch um, where I explain all of this. Okay. So that's our first equation, but then they also give us that S of 3 equals to 26. So we know that S of 3 for geometric is going to be A 1 minus R to the N all over 1 minus R. Okay, And because N equals to 3 here, we're going to have A 1 minus R to the 3 all over 1 minus R, and that must equal to 26. Okay. So, two equations, two unknowns, so we have to make one variable the subject. But now you can see that we need to find R. So making R the subject, then solving for A and then coming back is going to take time. But what you can notice here is we have A 1 over R. So if I rewrite this here at the bottom, I can write it as A over 1 minus R, 1 minus R cubed equals 26. So this is just equal to 27. So I have 27, 1 minus r cubed equals 26. Okay. So if I now solve this, I'll have 1 minus r cubed equals to 26 over 27. Okay. So if I rearrange this, I'm going to end up with 1 minus 26 over 27 equals r cubed. Okay. So if you work this out over here, you're going to end up with 1 over 27 equals r cubed. Okay, I'm just going to go up here. So what happens is we'll have the cubed root of 1 over 27 equals to r. So therefore r equals to 1 over 3. Okay, 1 over 3 is less than 1 and greater than negative 1. So we can definitely see that it converges and this up here makes sense. Okay, and that's how we score full marks in this question. If you guys found today's video helpful, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, please leave your comments and questions down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. Um, as you guys can see that a lot of you watching the videos are not subscribed, so it would be appreciated if you guys do consider subscribing to the channel. And once again, thank you very much for watching the video. And remember, it's never too late to have an OSC moment.